Welcome to my channel Car Guide UK. This is where you have to get up and fix it. Please subscribe and remember to click the bell if you want more videos like this. Okay guys, if you are looking to replace your seat belt that looks a little bit like this, this is just the front seat belt. Um, because the car's been in an accident, these are fired. So to tell that they're fired, you will hear a noise that sounds like this. So. So what that is, is that is basically the ball inside has fired and it's absolutely no good at all. So you need to go get your new one. So I'm just going to go grab a new one. And then the way to tell is this, this is the new one now. So it's shaking this. Absolutely no noise at all. So with that, you know that this is absolutely good. Um, don't be alarmed if it doesn't retract because these have to be in a certain position in the vehicle for them to actually retract out. So don't think you've bought a dud one. What you need to do is just go put it into the vehicle. You need to locate it with the lug there. And then you will, once it's screwed into place and it's parallel, it will come out absolutely fine. What you need to do now um, is just, if you watch this video, I'm gonna show you how to put this back in the vehicle, uh, but I don't have one taken out the vehicle, but it's literally just around the other way. So if you watch me putting it in, I'll talk to you about sizes and everything like that, and then we will put this back in, and then we will, um, then if you want to know how to take it back out, then just watch it in reverse, or just watch it as it goes along, and then at least you're gonna see how um, it goes in to know how it comes back out. So we're gonna show you that right now. Hey guys, let's get into this now. So what I want to do here is just show you guys what it looks like. This will be in the vehicle, obviously. I just want to show you how you release the uh, the main plug that goes into the front seat belt. So you just need to get a small little screwdriver underneath that uh, your little yellow tab. As you can see, it just lifts. As it lifts up, it sort of just unlocks it from the device. So the purple bit unlocks. Uh, there you go. So that is where it is there. And then what you want to do just to get it off, give it a nice little wriggle. Don't wriggle it too much because this is obviously really delicate. Um, and then just it will just eventually just come away. I'll just show you this now so you can see that and how it looks. So there you go. So it's just like a two pin plug. It just goes into there, pushes in. We will show you how it goes in once we get it back in the vehicle. Um, but if you want to know how to take your seatbelt out, you need to follow this process in reverse. But it's probably best to see how it goes in uh, this way. The only reason I'm saying that is because if you see it going in, then you can see all the things that you're going to face once you uh, get to that stage of, uh, you know, removing the trims and stuff like that. So, right. This is the first bit that we need to do. I don't know if you can see this because obviously it's upside down, but I just had to do it this way so you could see how it goes in. Right, with the uh, little tab there on the right hand side, that just goes into that slot. So once that's into that slot like that, what you want to do is just push it down and then it should fall down into position. So then that kind of locks it in place and allows you to then go put your bolt in. So this is an 18 mil bolt. So you've got an 18 millimeter bolt there. So that this is the one that goes in there. So what you want to do is just, um, just put, put it in and make sure that you just do it up hand tight. And then once you've done this, guys, your seatbelt will uh, retract. So it will start to come out. So this is obviously just how you can tell you if you've got a dud, you could just obviously test it now. But it has to be in this weird position for you to be able to do that the next thing after that guys is you're going to have to put the plug back in so like I said it is a bit of a nightmare to do especially when trying to hold the camera and film at the same time and hold the door card or the back uh, door card out of the way because it is in the way here this is a three door model so uh, just so you know right so there you go so once you've got the plug into place it wants to go around the seat belt don't let it go in front of the seat belt and then all you need to do is just click it in with the little yellow tab and that holds it in place just like that Moving on to the next stage, you may need to make sure that you do these up quite tight. So as I said, go get your 18 millimeter um, and just put that on there, tighten it right up until you're happy with it. You just want to kind of do it hand tight. I don't think there's a, sp a specific, um, you know, measurement for this, like how many bars it would be if you had to do it up. I don't think there is. There might be something out there, but I just make sure you do them up nice and tight. Once you've done that, you just need to pull the seatbelt up and then you just need to take it onto this rail. So this is the leveling rail or the one that adjusts the seatbelt. Again, another 18 millimeter bolt uh, to do up there. So you just need to put it on, put it into place and then you just need to screw that up. On this bolt as well, just so just in case you've got all the bolts mixed up or anything, the way to tell that this is the right one, it has uh, no thread at the start of it. So if it's got the black one that has no thread at the start of it, then at least you guys know that you are onto the right 
right track. Just do it up again, hand tight, until you are happy with it. Uh, just try not to get too keen on, uh, you know, going through the stages because there are a few tests you need to do. Please make sure you do it up again. I'm just turning it around to show you that it is an 18 millimeter that's done the bolt, just to help you guys. So if you haven't done this or you think about doing it and you're watching this video, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna have a go at removing my seatbelt because you've obviously bought an accident damaged one, you have one that's frayed, one that's not working, you wanna take it out. Watch this video because this video is here to help you guys understand how the seat belts work and how they come out. So, Right, so after you've done that up and you've done it up nice and tight, the next thing that we're going to be moving on to to do is going to be the bit where the, um, I don't know how you call this, it's kind of like the adjuster trim. So basically this just goes over the top. There are a couple of things that you need to look out for when you're doing this. I will show you that up close. The seatbelt needs to go through, so you should have the end of the seatbelt goes through there like so. You want to pull that through and then you need to get that end, you know that bit that clips into uh, you know, the small the small piece of, that goes over your shoulder. You need to make sure that pulls through as well. There are a couple of things here that you need to line up. Obviously undoing it or taking this piece out is gonna be uh, the reverse of this, but this will show you where everything is. So then at least you haven't got to worry about where all the parts are. Right, so once you've got that through there guys and you are happy with it, you do need to locate these two top pegs that are on the top of here. There's two little sort of like clear pegs that are cut out and they go into two holes in the top of the ceiling. So the two pegs are there, so that's one. And then on the other side, let the camera focus and on the other side there, so that's two pegs. This is what holds it into the roof in place. So there isn't any screws holding it up there out the way. This is mainly uh, just where it sits in. So as you can see, it just sits into those holes. So what you wanna do, you need to do a couple of tests before you go and fit this because these are really important to do so. Uh, I will show you an overlay clip of what you need to test before you go and put this in because uh, it is quite a tricky one to do. And you probably will need to remove the rubber on your um, door aperture as well. As you can see here, I'm just showing you me putting it in, but on the right hand side, just make sure your adjuster works. So you just need to push that little peg in and then make sure it goes up and down. Because if your adjuster isn't working, these are about eight quid on eBay, so you could go get one if your adjuster's broken. So right, what you want to do, I'm just showing you on the left-hand side of the image here, with this right-hand one's just about to disappear, uh, you will see that there's a hole there, and that hole is where your locating peg needs to go in. So that needs to go into there. If you don't get this in there, guys, and you go and put it on and you push it up, and you just think, oh, it's gonna be okay. It's not, because you won't be able to adjust your seatbelt and you wanna be able to adjust your seatbelt. So you need to get it up into position. We will show you a few images of how this is done uh, on the way. Um, I do do, uh, do, do. <laughs> I do a, a side shot for you on this, just to show you again um, before we're putting it into position, just so you can see. So for now, we're just gonna put it up, but then we'll take it back down just to show, show you a side view of that. So. As you can see here, we're just putting it up into place. It isn't easy to do. I'm gonna get in the way of the camera because it is very frustrating. You just need to make sure you line it up. You'll feel it click in. You can see that's clicked in there. And then you need to make sure, pull it to the pull it forward, make sure that that adjuster is in that slot. Because if you don't, then you will not have an adjustable seatbelt. There you go. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna move on to the side shot just so you can see where that's gotta go. Uh, it's a little bit dirty, you can clean it up really. Uh, but I was in a rush to get these in uh, because my ones had fired because as you know, I have bought a damaged Audi. So there you go. So that needs to go in there. And this is where the adjuster goes into this piece and that is what adjusts it. So that clicks up and down. So when you prise them together, that's where they go. Moving on down onto that same trim, you need to make sure that once it's in the top there, the bottom bit needs to line up here in those two holes. But before you do that, make sure that you push the seatbelt into the slider, because you don't want it to get be, you know, caught behind there, because if it's caught behind there, then you're gonna have some trouble. You're not gonna be able to pull the seatbelt out once you put the trim back on. So get this trim off, guys, that you can see out this big, massive trim that's on the rear quarter. Really easy to do. Get some trim tools. All you gotta do is pull it, and you will see that there's a couple of little pegs that hold them all in. But we will go through the pegs at the end, so if you're wondering how the hell did he get that off, all you need to do is pull it with a little bit of force, just be careful, uh, and I'll show you that when we get to it. So this is a T25 uh, to do this one up. So you, there's two of these in here, and they are actually a nightmare to get to. If you've got it on a ratchet, it's gonna be so much easier. I'm just doing it on this because I don't want a big tool to get in the way because I wanna show you where they are. So this is a T25 on that side, and as you can see, there's another T25 that's gotta go into that hole there. And that's where them two holes are hidden. So don't go getting your trim tools prizing this because the seatbelt does hide it 
And that is not a good thing because you might not think that there's any screws in there at all when really there's two hidden behind there, two T25 uh, torque heads and they are holding that into position. Once you've done that up guys, the next bit you're going to have to do is do the slide rail at the bottom. So as you can see here, this is a bit of an odd one because there are two mega differences in the bolts that do them up. One of them is I think a T30, we will go through the sizes for you in a moment, and the other one is an 18 inch or 18 millimeter inch, I mean massive, 18 millimeter bolt. So the first thing you need to do is just slide that end of that over. This is really difficult to do when you've got one hand and you're holding the camera because the stand wouldn't sit in there with me and I didn't have anyone else to help at the time. But that's what you need to do. As you can see, there's a cutout in the carpet. I'm gonna try and line that up, watch me struggle, but I will do it. Uh, and this is where that goes through. So that just slides through into that hole there. You just need to push that up into position. We will do it, don't worry. And it comes up through the body of the car. And then that bit just needs to slide in. So just need to adjust it around. You might need to pull it out again a little bit just to get it in, but you should be fine. So all you need to do there is just push that into position Make sure that other bit's all nice and level, and then it'll go in like that. There you go. So what we're going to do is we are going to take another approach at seeing um, this. So we're going to go around there, pull that trim out of the way so you can see. Just excuse my uh, shaky hands. I'm trying to do as best quality as we can. So that's now lined up there. So that's where that Torx T30 bolt is going to go into there. And then what we're going to do now, we are going to just move on to uh, putting it into position and we will do that. As you can see, that's how the seatbelt comes out. It goes down like that. It's coming out. It's, it doesn't look too difficult to do, does it, guys? Not really. Uh, it's just having the process of making sure that it's in the right position because what you want to do is you don't want to make sure that everything's twisted when you're putting it through and you want to put it through the right way. So this is why we do these guides. As you can see now that it moves backwards and forwards, which is absolutely perfect. This is a uh, an 18 millimeter. Again, I think they have a, like a nice time with the 18 millimeters. The good thing is you only need an 18 millimeter, um, you know, piece to undo those. And you also only need a T25 and a T30 Torx to really do this whole job. So you are laughing. You will need some trim tools as well to take the trim off. But, you know, other than that, you're fine. So as you can see, we have actually taken that bottom trim off again, uh, the one that runs along the seal panel. Uh, but don't worry about that, guys. Also prize off again uh, just by hand. So it's a really easy one to do. We will show you a video on how to get those off at some point. As you can see, that goes through there into position. You do, oh, it's a T40, guys. There we go, so it's a T40. This is why we do this video, so we don't mess you up. I hope you ain't gone and grabbed yourself a T30. So it's a T40 that does that up. Make sure you do that bolt up, and then just get a nice little extension on there. I say little, this one's massive, but you know, maybe we're compensating for something. Uh, so you've got an 18 millimeter there, and that will do up that one there. So just do it up nice and tight. Don't overdo it because you don't need to. Uh, if you get time, make sure you clean it because you don't know where it's from, especially with everything that's going on at the moment. Uh, yeah, so we bit so make sure it's all nice and clean because you don't know who's had it over their shoulders or whatever. So just give it a nice wipe down with an antibacterial wipe. And there you go. So that's what it looks like. I'm just showing you now these little pegs. These little pegs are going to be a nightmare for me to try and do with one hand, but I'm going to show you how they come out because they all ping off when you pull the trim. So. When you pull the trim, these little black pegs that sit into that bit of metal on the car, they just sit in here. There you go. So there they are. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Just calling them little diamond shaped head things and they go into that part of the vehicle there. What you want to do is you can take those out because when you pull at it, what will happen is most of the time, most of them will stay in there or some of them will just ping out and fall down onto the floor. So that's how you slide them out. You pinch them together. And then you pull them out and they slide and they kind of got like a little slider in the back trim. And then what you want to do now is just try and get it together. They're just going to struggle here because we only have one hand. And hey presto, that's how that goes in. So if you're happy with it and they're in place, all you need to do is bash um, that back into place and that will be fine. Please make sure you test your seatbelt. You want to make sure that your seatbelt works, guys. You need to test it. Make sure it clicks into here because mine had fired. So I wasn't too sure whether the, um, the click part of the seatbelt had fired as well. So what I had to do is I had to test that too. So just to make sure it works. And as you can see here, testing it two or three times just to make sure it works. There you go, so just put that over there, give it a nice pull, make sure it stays into position, unclick it, and that's how it unclicks. So, and it's retracting as well, so it's trying to put itself back in. So that's really good. So there you go, so that is how you do that bit. All I'm just doing here is making sure that you know that your adjuster works. You could do this at the other stage, as you can see. Uh, we probably should have tested that a little while ago, but just make sure you don't forget 
to test that the adjuster goes up and down and the seatbelt pulls out nicely. So make, remember to do that, guys, okay? Once you've done that, guys, you are pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is just show you in the vehicle another test that you need to do is pull it really sharp because when you pull it really sharp just like that, you want to make sure it clicks into place because that is what's going to save you in an accident, guys. So make sure that that's done. Guys, you've been watching Flame Wheel 4. I hope you liked this video on how to um, install a seatbelt on an Audi. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.